So today it's a great pleasure for the Whitman of the World Life Insurance Society to sponsor for your enjoyment a play-by-play -play broadcast of what promises to be an exciting Tangerine Bowl football game. This is the ninth annual game, Tangerine Bowl game. Stephen Hanlon right now. Stephen Hanlon out there with Rudy Rotella of Omaha. And in just a few minutes now, we'll give you the results of the toss to see who's defending. As we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, in case you joined us late, the field here is north-south, and uh, we're seated on the east side of the stadium, above the 50-yard line on the east side. The temperature is 69 here in Orlando, 69, and just a very slight wind, 6 miles an hour from the east. It'll be blowing across the stadium here. Palm trees everywhere on both sides of the stadium and peeking out over the top. Teams out on the field. of other people, Leanne Merriweather, Miss America, is here to take part in the ceremonies. Shirley Dees, the tangerine bowl queen out on the center of the field. And this stadium seats 12,000 people. And with the seats, that, bleacher seats that have been built up, there are 14,000 folks on hand, every seat in the stadium filled. Eastern Kentucky won the toss, and they'll receive. And Omaha U will kick from the southern end of the field. Omaha U, kicking from the south, eastern Kentucky, receiving on the north end of the field. The wind is not a factor in the football game today because, perhaps I shouldn't say this evening, this fourth night game for the Indians. It's the uh, first night game for Jack and I for some time. And uh, out there on the playing field now, the Maroons of eastern Kentucky in white uniforms, white headgears, Big purple numbers and a purple piping stripe down the center of their headgear. The Indians across the way with black jerseys. And right around the elbow, a maroon stripe, maroon pants with black lines down the side and black headgears out on the playing field. Now we see line coach Ernie Gore shaking hands. Of course, as you know, undoubtedly have heard about, it's quite a feature of this game out here in Orlando tonight. Coach Lloyd Cardwell of the Omaha Indians is a former Nebraska University football player, and so is Len Presnell of Eastern Kentucky, a former Nebraska football player. Good friends they are. Now it's our pleasure to introduce WOW Sports Director Jack Payne. Jack? Thank you, Marilyn. Good evening, everyone. Wappy is here. We're here, and we hope you're there listening. As Arnie Smith comes up, throws the ball. There's a low liner. It's about the 20. Goes back, taken down by uh, Daly on the 10. He's up to the 15. Cuts inside. Trapped around the knees and belted down. He goes on around the 20-yard strike. He got, may have gotten up to close to the 25. But Don Daly comes up now. Handoff coming wide out, sweeping to the left. He's hit behind the line and thrown all the way back. To about the 17 by Harry Johnson. He, the linebackers pulled in tight. Handling this time on the fake handoff and gives down the middle there to Muller. Muller comes up over the 20. That's up close to around the 23-yard line and eats up practically all the yardage. Omaha U kicked off. We're in the first period of play, the tangerine ball, so that little children may walk. This game is played tonight. 5-3-3 defense for the linebackers in tight. And here goes uh, Hanlon. Back flags on the play. Hanlon throws one to the near side. It's incomplete. And almost getting his hands on the ball is Harry Johnson. It was uh, John Daly for whom the pass was intended. The left halfback. On oh, we really turned around here. That's the way the flip went. Paul Green goes back to punt now for Kentucky. Fourth down, 11 to go. Let's see what the Maroons do. That huge spotlight cuts the air across the way. Here we go now with Green. Kicking from the pocket. It's a weak kick to the far side. Goes down and goes out of bounds. It went off of the right side of the foot. It is not out of bounds. It took a hop along the sideline. Comes back in about the 35. And it will be fielded between the 35 and 40-yard line. In Kentucky territory is Frank Nasita. A big ball of its kind being played from coast to coast tonight. Now here's Omaha U with Inglehart in the tailback. Stack on the wing to the right. Single wing back to the right. Inglehart goes back to pass. Cox his arm. Blows along and down the field. Over his head. By about five yards is Rudy. Got back there. He eluded Jim Hanlon by two steps. Engelhardt cocked that arm, tossed her down the field, far down towards that Eastern Kentucky goal by the scoreboard, and it went incomplete by about five yards out beyond it. Big Rudy that time brought gaps of oh and ah up from the crowd. 
Omaha U lines up there in Kentucky Territory on the 38th. Second down, Engelhardt in the tailback sweep right to the right. And it's going to be hemmed in and it's being pulled down and knocked out of bounds by Bob Muller. Bob Muller, who was back there backing up the line. And we understand one of the greatest linebackers to ever come out of the Ohio Valley Conference. Time strong side to the left as Lloyd Cardwell puts into action the single wing. with stacked wide out now and the wing back spot. Arnie Smith in there to blocking back. Engelhardt takes. Engelhardt throws intended and a beautiful stab, but it's incomplete up there by this fellow Stack who leaped high into the air about 15 yards down the field. Couldn't keep his hands on the ball, and so it goes incomplete, dropping down. Engelhardt goes back on fourth down, 11 and a half to go. His toe meets the ball, and it is almost blocked. He goes into the air high, hits down on the 25, bounces back in towards the center of the field, hops into around the 23 or 22 as they smother around it. He's in, Schulte and Winch are really crammed in that time and almost took that uh, punt right off the toe of Engle good and tight. It goes Hanlon, handing off, coming in on the cross is Daly, the left half shooting into the right side, and he's brought down. There's going to be a flag on that one, and it might be backfield in motion. Marvin Evans gets up from underneath. Miss America's here, the Tangerine Queen. Shirley Days is here, Princess Omaha, Jackie Peterson's here. It's a great crowd, lots of excitement. Hanlon goes down, comes back up the left side, hands off. There's a little speedy fella coming in to the left side of the line. It's Muller, the fullback, gets up inside the 20. Knocked down out here by Johnson. Harry Johnson, and we played most of the first quarter. Omaha U's had it once. They bogged down, couldn't go. Green is wide off over to the right. They play in the wing tee now. It goes Hanlon down the left side, handing off. Good blocking, and once again, it's Muller, the fullback, comes along the sideline, the 25, the 30, and he comes down. Engelhardt hits him and rolls him out of bounds. From the 22, they've moved her down now to around the 34-yard line. Here goes Hanlon down the uh, side of the line. He hands off to Daly. Daly trying to cut back over the right side, and he's knifed under around the 36 or 7. Let's see where they're going to place it down as the big uh, black shirt gets up from underneath there. Off the tee. Here's Kentucky. Moving now. Hanlon goes down the right side. Hands off. A nice shot through there. As carrying the ball is green, and uh, Paul brings her up close to around the 40-yard line. The team, needless to say, playing in any socks here tonight. 69 degrees. They have what they call mild weather here in Orlando, with that balmy wind blowing in, a crosswind from the east. Now eastern Kentucky, heading to our left to south. Hanlon this time, taking a hand off the halfback. He does. He gives to his right halfback, Paul Green. Green up over the 40 and gets down close to a first and 10. If he didn't get it, it's going to be mighty close in there. Second Engelhardt go back, and on a crammer coming down the middle is Hanlon. Second Engelhardt were back, anticipating a possible kick off of a formation that might be jumped into. Over to the left, it's a daily. Hanlon this time takes, gets off to Muller. Muller sweeping right to the right. He's hit about the 45. There may have been a fumble. The flags are flying. Flags on the play. As Rudy Rotella that time would not be moved out. There's fumbling on the play, and let's see what's going to go. There are flags down, and Omaha U recovered a loose football, but there were flags down. The Omaha U declined the penalty. It was against Eastern Kentucky for offside, and so Omaha U scoops up a loose football. Omaha U lines up, single wing to the right, strong side to drive right on the Eastern Kentucky 44 and a half. Engelhardt cuts back in, driving at the right side, and he's headed and belted down, stopped in there. This big fellow, Frank Nasita, would not be moved out. He and Tom Sammons side by side. And on behalf of all of them, we say thanks to you. Glad to have your support. Here goes Stack in motion, sweeping wide over the left. He gets it on a reverse over the 45, a flag's down. He twists, turns, it goes down on a nice tackle over there, about the 41 yard line across the way on the far side. He did untied streak through 13 ball games. Stack comes wide now, out to the right. Single wing back to the right. He goes to the short man in there. Wheeler hits through a good gaping hole. Nice blocking. Goes over the 40 down the 35. He may hit down close to around the 34. Block in there also. Strong side to the right. Once again to Wheeler. Wheeler finds a hole. Goes through it over the 35 and rams his way down to around the 31 yard line. First down for a tough ball game coming up. There's a drive straight through this time with Wheeler once again carrying. He gets up close to the 30 and they like no man's land. Anticipating the final decision out here tonight. Steck wide to the left. Single wing back to the left. Engelhardt gets the ball. Pass it. It is caught by Rose. Oh, beautiful catch by the 25. Rudy goes to the football. Rudy on the pass. And Rudy will score. Beautiful. Rudy Rotella covering the final 30 yards on a beautiful pass with Ed Baker and Dick Cotton in there leveling some nice blocks. Jim Hanlon was eluded along the sideline. He and uh, Paul Green. As Hanlon had his hands and his arms wrapped right around Rudy, Rudy kept those legs going down the sideline, took that pass on a beautiful right-handed stabbing catch, and went into the end zone, twisting and turning in the final 10 yards, mister, there wasn't anywhere near him. Steck will hold, Omaha U lead, six, to Eastern Kentucky's nothing. 30 yards on that pass play, the snap, it's down, the kick, it's on its way, it's good. 7-0. We have uh, Bell, Muller, and Miracle, all three back. 
Here goes the kick back, taken around the 10-yard line by Muller. Muller's out to the 20, comes to the 25, cuts inside one tackler, goes past another up to about the 30-yard line. And Bob is brought down as Carl Bay's got a nice block on the far side to give him another five yards or so. And comes down the left side of the option. Pitches back to Miracle. Miracle fumbles at the 25. It's a free ball. And Eastern Kentucky recovers it. As coming in very quickly, Bob Wheeler just overshot that ball just a little bit. As Hanlon takes the ball, rolls out, puts it on his hip, swinging wide over to the right. Cocks his arm, throws a jump pass down the field, and it is... Knocked down at the last moment. I don't think it's going to be regarded as a completed pass. It is not. As Fred Wincher went for it. Back to do the kicking for Kentucky. He gets a pass from center. Here's the boot as it comes down the field. A driving kick, and there are two white shirts right in front of the ball. The 45, back to the 40, hops on inside the 40. Back it goes towards the Omaha U, 35. And over there on the far side, Stack just lets it roll to a dead stop on the 33-yard line. And Jerry John, now as the wing back, as Omaha U lines up on their own 33-yard line, single wing back to the right. It goes to Engelhardt. Engelhardt, a short pass to Rotella, complete. Up inside the 35, around the 38, and Rotella takes it to the far side. As the wing back to the right, unbalanced line by Omaha U. Here they come now, second down, around six to go. And there's a drive play as Engelhardt scoots inside the guard and tackle on the right side and drives up to the Tangerine Bowl at Orlando, Florida. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, mighty pleased and happy to be bringing it to you. Stack once again out on the wing back. Ball goes back to Engelhardt and a quick kick off of the single wing. A quick kick. Drives Miracle back inside the 30. The ball takes a hop over the 25. Goes down to around close to the 22 or 21 yard line. It'll be two to dead. Donald Smith, Wheeler, Engelhardt and Stack have controlled the game so far. Now here's Eastern Kentucky on their tee lining up. Hanlon comes down the left side. Hands off a nice drive through up to around close to the 24-yard line by Chuck Bell from Pineville, Kentucky, a junior. Here's Kentucky, second down, seven to seven and a half to go. We come with Hanlon taking the ball, handing off to Bell. Bell trying to sweep, coming around the left side, and he is trapped around around the 25-yard line. And there is the end of the first period with Omaha U leading Eastern Kentucky seven to nothing. Okay, Jack. Bam is playing Dixie. We're on the south end of the press box. We didn't wear the stand or not down here. Here goes Hanlon on the handoff and coming inside over the right side of the old hole is Daly. Daly dives over the 30 up to close to the 35-yard line. He may have gotten to the 36. I feel it's 7-0. Omaha U leads over Eastern Kentucky. Eastern on the split tee. Here we come with uh, straight ahead uh, Ed Miracle driving through on the tackle slant. He's hit and hit hard. Split tee. Waiting for the snap from center. Hanlon gets it. Goes back. Hands off. Straight ahead to fullback. Muller. Muller throws his neck and goes up inside the 38-yard line. And they have gotten in close to around the 39. We'll see for Mr. Rhyme. And here comes Mr. Don Daly. Don Daly coming into the right side over the 40. And he runs the plaudits from the Kentucky fans directly beneath us as he carries over the 45. And man. Here's Kentucky on the 47-yard line. Hand off to Miracle. Miracle trying to knife into the left side. He gets loose from one man. Comes up to about midfield. And that was Ed Miracle, a senior, 165-pounder from Middlesboro, Kentucky. Kentucky, taking the ball on a handoff. Wind is six miles per hour from the east, a crosswind. Hanlon comes out to the right, hands it off, and there he's four back. Muller, Muller is met behind the line and rocked down solidly as Frank Hahn, number 64, came to in there, and number 50, Rudy Rosella, crashed in from the left end. Here goes Hanlon, Hanlon handing off, and Daly savagely into the right side of the line, up past the midfield stripe, down to the Omaha U, 45-yard line. A beautiful block in there. Jerry Johns moving out ahead. Heine Smith had to come in that time. And it goes Hanlon on the fake to the right half back, gives it to the fullback on the delay down the middle, and Muller jams through shooting for the first and ten on fourth down, gets up inside the 45, and let's see whether he has it or not. It goes Hanlon down on a handoff, and Miracle is belted about the 45. Daly off over here to the right. Now as a flanker is Hanlon, rolls up, comes to the right, he's in trouble, he gets his pass off down the field, it's short, it's wobbly, it's dropped down there by Emma Raddick. Raddick is in there for Engelhardt, and Raddick dropped the ball, almost intercepted. Steck to the near side. Shoots his punt, comes down a driving kick. That stick watches go out of bounds. It's going to be deep inside Omaha U territory. It may be around the 10 or 9 yard line. It's going to be on the 9 yard stripe if it's stays there. It is. When he's trying to run this one back. Strong side now to the right as uh, Nasita hops offside over there and the ball goes back to uh, Emil Raddick. The tailback sweeps over the right, cuts in, comes up close to the 10 yard line. And uh, this boy, Frank Nasita, single wing with Raddick in the tailback spot. Wheeler the short man. The ball goes back to Raddick. Raddick running behind Wheeler right over, over to the right. Cuts inside, comes over the 15, and he is rolled to the far side and thrown out of bounds up close to the 20 by Bob Muller. Muller, a strong fellow who wrestled on his uh, high school wrestling team, and I understand was one of the finalists in the Olympic competition. Single wing back, strong side to the left. The ball to the short man. Wheeler, Wheeler trying to go through the middle, comes right up through the middle. He's hit in there by Bill Castle. Castle the center. 
the freshman from uh, Paintsville, and Ralph Consiglio, the left guard. And there's Bill Stack off over to the left again. The ball this time goes into Raddick. Raddick, the tailback, drives into one man, shoves him aside, comes up close to the line of scrimmage, and he is really socked down there hard as the gap closes, and Castle once again, and uh, Jerry Johns calling up from underneath, but it was Castle who's going to be given credit for that one. Gets set in there now with a six-man line. Back goes Englehart after taking the, or rather Raddick. Raddick is going to run with it. He comes up to the line of scrimmage, comes over inside the 30, up to around the 33-yard line, and takes out of bounds by Ed Miracle on the far side, and Bill Castle right in there, calling up also from the 31 and a half yard line, and they're on into the field. Omaha U lines up strong side to the left, single wing to the left. Ball to the short man, driving through hard and coming up over to around the 35 yard line. As it's carried, and uh, we've got to give that into Pete Rigg of Tucson. Two of them that way tonight, one for a touchdown covering 30 yards. Steck off over now to the left as a flanker. On Ballast line, strong side to the left. Wheeler in motion off over to the left. And the ball goes back to the tailback. Raddick, Raddick, right straight ahead into the right side of the line. Here's Omaha U. They so far have shut out Eastern Kentucky. Steck wide to the left to Flanker. The ball goes to Wheeler, the short man. Takes the hand off to Raddick. Wheeler cuts to the right, comes up over the 40. He may be near that first and 10 mark as he uh, leans forward with one arm down there on the turf. Looks across to the near side uh, to that first and 10 marker. Strong side to the left, goes to the tailback, Raddick, Raddick cuts inside over the 40, shifts off one, fumbles the ball on the 45, and Eastern Kentucky recovers. Eastern Kentucky, Jim Hanlon gets it about the 48-yard line. Paul Green, the right halfback, wide over to the left is a flanker, and we're waiting now to see what Hanlon's going to call as they have the ball in Omaha U's. 48-yard line, flags fly as Daly takes it, trying to knife into the line, and he is upended around the 50 by a nice tackle by Ed Baker, who got down underneath. We may have had some backfield in motion against Eastern Kentucky. Wide off over, to the left is a flanker. Hanlon calling the signal, 6-2-2-1 defense for Omaha U. Hanlon in a pocket, throws one off over to the left, it's down the field there, and it is down there to around the 25-yard line, and it is taken by Eastern Kentucky. Now the argument is on, did he get it before he went down or not? And let's see, whether he had scooted it up or actually caught it, well, he really huddled around over there, and the flag came down, and it was a penalty back downfield. So here comes the play back to the 47-yard line. Hanlon goes back, throws one to the left side, and it's incomplete over there, intended for the left end, Paul Thomas. He and Pete Rigatuso backing up the line. Rigatuso on the left side, Johnson on the right side. Hanlon goes back out of the pocket now. Cocks his arm, throws one down the middle. Beautiful ball to the 36, caught by Fred Wincher. And Wincher is down over the OU 35 to the 34-yard line. Maybe something else happening on this one because the flag is down on the 49. Oh, Wincher, one of the top pass receivers on this Eastern Kentucky team on the receiving end of that one. Kentucky, second down, 20 to go. Here goes Hanlon back, fades back to his own 32, cocks his arm, throws one to the left, and it is a scramble for it and batted down at the last moment as Wheeler came in for it, Paul Thomas came for it, and now those two kids kept from just clashing head on, I don't know, but the ball went down to the turf around the 40-yard line in OU territory. Off their T formation. They don't split their ends too much on this one. They put a flanker, Green, wide off over to the left, working now from around the 44 and a half yard line in OU territory. Here's a jump pass complete down to Winter on the 38. Winter inside the 35. He gets on to about the 33 yard line. Hanlon has been replaced by Bobby Linderman at quarterback. Now with Linderman lines him up. Linderman down the left side, hands off, and there is Daly. Daly finding a hole in the 35. On the 30, Daly inside the 25, and Daly to the far sideline. He may have been out about the 20. Bill Engelhardt came up then fast from his safety position. Daly from Kentucky, of course, anticipating, hoping for a touchdown. Here goes Lineman down the left side off to Daly. Daly has felt it hard over there. Some nice shot through there that time. Cotton is a converted halfback into an end. Lineman puts up Daly wide off over to the right. Lineman swinging out to the right to pass, throws it down the field. It is incomplete down on the 13-yard line. Running for it, Paul Green reached out to get it. Lineman puts Daly out to the right to flanker. Bobby goes back, pitches one down. It's complete. Down about the 10-yard line to Fred Wincher. And Wincher carries in there. If this is going to stand up, it may be good for a first and 10. Because Dinch is pushing onto the 10-yard stripe. Here now is Lineman trying to go down the middle, and he is jammed up and jammed up hard as he should now for that uh, first and 10. And let's see whether he gets it. He does. Beautiful night for football. Here's Lineman. Set with Daly wide to the right to flanker. Lineman rolls out to the right, jumps, throws. It's complete. Down to about the five. A touchdown for Kentucky. Paul Green it was, the right halfback, who got between Steck and Englehart on that one and uh, caught that ball, going right across in front of him and caught it with three minutes and 19 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. 
Lindemann is holding, and Rigrish, R-I-G-R-I-S-H, is kicking. The kick is up on its way. It's no good. It's no good. It's off to the right. Wobbly and off to the right. So Omaha University hangs on tenaciously to that lead of 7-6. to six. Listen to this Kentucky crowd. go. There's a low whistling Willie Mays line drive. Down to the 20, the 15. Picked up back there. Running hard with it. Stuck. Stuck over the 30. Stuck over the 35-yard line and he's trucked up at about the uh, 36. They may say he touched turf around the 34. Strong side now to the left. Kentucky playing in the 6-2 defense. Ball goes back to back. Ingle Hardy cocks his arm. Throws a long pass down the field intended for Cotton and it is batted down and almost intercepted by Jim Hanlon. Out around the 36-yard line. On the 36, Cotton 40. Strong side to the right on the single wing. The ball goes back now to Engelhardt at tailback. And Bill Cox's arm, he's going to be trapped back there. He can't cut the ball off around the 31-yard line. As Don Boyer, the uh, right guard, found the opening, saw daylight, shot for the knees and grabbed uh, Engelhardt uh, down low, and uh, Bill spun around, but Boyer hung on to the arm. Now uh, here is Omaha U, single wing back. It goes back to Engelhardt. He fumbles the ball, falls on it on the 25-yard line. A minute and 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Bill Engelhardt back to kick, waiting for the snap from center. He gets it, he boots the ball, and here he comes, lazy-daisy-like, down to the 40, takes a hop up into the air, and Rudy Rotella just reach up, grabs it, kneels to one knee on the 41-yard line in eastern Kentucky territory. So the Maroons will take over at that with Daly, Don Daly off over to the right as a flanker. Up and under goes Hanlon, Hanlon hands it off on the uh, pick and play down the middle of the draw, in fact, down the middle over the 40, comes up to the 44. 45 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. Kentucky with Hanlon, the quarterback, on the tee. Hands off in the miracle, and miracle is wrapped around the middle. We can hear it click way back up in here in the stands as uh, the carrier goes up over the 45, close to around the 46-yard line. Daly to the right on the wing tee. Here goes Miracle back, and someone grabs a hold of his arm. He drops the ball, picks it up, throws it to down the field, or rather that was Hanlon. He throws to Miracle to the 45 complete and goes out of bounds on the 44-yard line. Here's Miracle down the field. Hanlon dropping back to pass. His gets protection, and he is going to be knocked out of bounds on the near side by Ed Baker, who comes in with a jarring shoulder tackle. The clock shows time has expanded, and the half has ended. The ball's teed up, about to be kicked, and once again, here's W.O.W. Sports Director Jack Payne. Thank you very much, Merrill. And down to the 25, it's taken down about the 10-yard line, and run back now. As Steck puts the ball on his hip on a crisscross, gets loose, one tackle to the 30, and gets the 40. Steck rams his way over the 45 and comes all the way to the 47-yard line. Jimmy Hanlon and Bill Castle team up on the tackle. Beautiful running by Billy Steck that time, beating a hip to the right and then to the left, and getting excellent blocking support. Coming back to the left goes short man Wheeler. Wheeler trying to go up the middle, twist, turn, spins, comes over the midfield stripe, and is escorted back to his own side into the greensward, peck in there by three white jerseyed lads, Bill Castle and uh, Don Daly and Jerry Johns. Rigatuso, number 73, replaces Wheeler at the uh, fullback spot. Arnie Smith in close now. Rigatuso comes in motion off over to the left, and uh, Bill Engelhardt drives down through the middle, gets up close to around the 46-yard line as he's taken in tow by Carl Bays and Jerry Johns. The right guard, right tackle, Bill Castle, the linebacker, and Muller also coming in on the play to stop Engelhardt. There's Bill Steck off over to the right, single wing back to the right. He goes to Engelhardt, Engelhardt straight ahead on a slam, and he's hit and hit hard. I don't think he made it as he belted down terrifically in there. Tom Schulte, who came in driving through there like a pile driver, and John Henry's famous days up there and hit Bill and knocked him all the way back. Now then, single wing back to the right, fourth down with about a half a yard to go. It goes to Engelhardt. He's trying for it. He has it as he goes up right over the middle, bounces off, slides, comes down the left side, up to around the 43-yard line. Down here to Orlando, Florida, where the temperature was 69 degrees, and what they call a mild night. Single wing back now, off over to the right with Rotella. The left in, spit wide. Half down, and Rudy is in his hands out of the cause on the 36th. 61 yards and 12 touchdowns to rank 14th in the nation. Had only one interception, as Merrill told you. He was number five in scoring in the nation, small college, with 88 points. Single wing back to the right. Engelhardt takes it, passes downfield. It's incomplete. Down there intended for Rotella, about the 30-yard strike. So once again, the pass goes incomplete. Now these two ends of Omaha U, Dick Cotton and Rudy Rotella. Rotella split wide out now to the left, single wing back to the right, and Cotton also out. Engelhardt back to throw, his pass is over to the far side, intended over for second incomplete. Knocked out by number 42, Muller and Jerry Johns. Engelhardt goes back to kick on fourth down and ten to go. He fakes the kick, comes over to the left, beautiful faking over the 45. Over the 40, throws that neck, goes inside the 30, goes down to about the 31-yard line. Man, a wild look at him go. Beautiful, beautiful. Engelhardt went back to kick. 
and lowered that neck and came over towards the near sideline and gains a first and ten as the Indians move down with Don Daly finally coming over to put the clincher on him on the 32-yard line where they say his knee touched her. Now there's deception plus for you, fellow. Once now again, Rudy will tell out wide, Jack. You're right, right to the left, single wing back to the right. It goes to Rigatuso and Big Pete lowers that neck, pulls over the 30 up to around the 28-yard line. Pete Rigatuso playing his heart out out here. Went in for Bob Wheeler, who uh, we think uh, may have had one of his uh, ankles over there just slightly twisted. Rotella stands up out to the left, single wing back to right. Engelhart jump pass, complete to Cotton down to the 20. And Cotton gets inside the 20 down to about the 18-yard line. And Hanlon comes in to put the clincher on him to make the tackle. The key play on fourth down at 10 to go was Engelhart's beautiful run. Engelhart tailback, gets the ball, sweeps to the right. He's trapped from behind, slips away, bounces off another tackler. Inside the 20, gets down to somewhere around the 18-yard line. Omaha U out of the huddle from the Eastern Kentucky 25. The ball resting on the 17-yard line. Second down, seven to go. Single wing back to the right. Rigatuso in motion coming to left. Goes to Inglehart. Fakes a pass. Slips into the line. Slips off to the right. Comes up in there to around the uh, line of scrimmage. He may have picked up about a yard. We'll wait and see. It is third down, seven. Nine minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Steck comes out now to the left. As a flanker, it's unbalanced line. Single wing back over to the right. Here is a pass. Complete down there now on the far side to uh, Cotton and Cotton. Takes that ball on down to close to the 10-yard line. He may have gotten inside as Paul Green comes in, uh, trying to make the tackle for Kentucky. Here we go, single wing back this time. Strong side to the left, waiting for the snap. It goes to Engelhardt. Engelhardt cuts a pass. It's batted down. As coming through nicely that time is number 81, Bill Castle. And I believe uh, Fred Wincher may have also gotten his hands on that. Eight minutes and 19 seconds after playing the third period. Omaha U7, Eastern Kentucky 6. Terrific football game. Strong side to the left on the single wing. Engelhardt moving around. Sidesteps one tackler. is tripped up over his own man who had just completed a block. Believe you me, that block was thrown there then. And Pete Rigatuso on the roll. A bold classic tonight. Single wing back to the right, strong side to the right. Around comes on a reverse. It's an end around as uh, Rotel has taken it from the left end spot, moving around to the right. He's trapped, thrown all the way back close to the 17 yard line. Schulte and Paul Green get him. Schulte, the left end, and Paul Green of the halfback drifted over. Seven minutes remaining to play in the third quarter. Engelhart in the tailback, strong side to the left, unbalanced line. Engelhart goes back to pass. He's hemmed in. He throws one to the end zone intended for Ernie Smith. He can't get to it. He ran down the field to the TAM, looked over his shoulder, saw the ball was going the other way. Pell Mal into the end zone, turned around. He couldn't get to it. Bob Muller covered him up all the way down there, so it is incomplete. And the ball comes out now to the 17 yard line. Here's Hanlon. Come down the right side. On the option play, keeps it inside the 20 to the 25. Hanlon twist turns goes over the 30 he gets down about the 33 yard line before he's brought down Arnie Smith is in there and I think that's Engelhart to get up off the ground down underneath there helping Arnie no that's Rudy Rotella down the left side on the option play a flip to Green Green right around to the left side on the 35 gets on past the 35 and is chased out of bounds down about his own 42 or 3 yard line boy this tempo is really lightning fast Bill Castle a beautiful block over there on the far sideline I think the man he took out was Harry Johnson and that permitted this boy Green to move wide out on the flip Hanlon on the delay play, hands off in there, and the fullback, Muller. Muller on the delay, slants just right off of the left hip of his center, and he may carry up to the 45-yard line. Five minutes, 44 seconds in the third period. Muller on a wing tee, over to the right. Here's a handoff, and Green is hit at the line as he goes in, taking a handoff to 45, a fumble. Omaha, you recovers. Oh, you gets it. A sensational driving tackle that time. As coming in from the side, Dick Cotton hit this boy Green at the moment he took the ball, and he really belted him hard. And Green did never have possession of that football. Single wing to the right, unbalanced line, Engelhart and tailback. He gets it, he comes to the left side. He's stopped about the line of scrimmage by Daly and Fred Wincher. Wincher, 210-pounder from Covington, Kentucky. He's got everything you want in this great football classic down here at Orlando. Terrific. Here goes Engelhart, wide over to the right on an unbalanced line. He stands. He throws down the field, intended for Cotton. There's a fight for it, batted away down there by Paul Green. And Green knocks that ball. Out from the intended receiver's arms on the 17-yard line. It was Dick Cotton down the field. Now then, Rotella, the left end, out wide to the left on the single wing back play. And here's a pass that's been intercepted by Daly on the 40s to the 45, the 50. Inside a tackler. Engelhardt sticks out his foot and down goes the ball carriers. Engelhardt was coming wide over to the left, spread eagled out, and Daly had to zigzag around him, but it out, and Daly tripped over his foot. Hanlon on the T formation play. On the option, laterals the ball back to Green. It's a free ball, and it'll be scooped up by Omaha U on the 47 yard line, their own side of the 50. He's back there centering that ball. Strong side now to the left. Single wing back to the left. Stack wide out. Other flanker. 
Engelhardt fakes a pass, drives into the center of the line, and he is ganged up around the 45-yard line. And on that one, I think maybe Bill will come up with about minus two yards because uh, he fooled absolutely no one. On a reverse play, Steck moves around after taking the ball from Engelhardt to the right, and Steck is ganged up and jolted to the ground over there. Man, those boys mean business. On the 43-yard line, Bob Muller came charging through in his linebacking spot, and Bill Castle likewise. Steck wide to the left, singling back to the left. Engelhardt back, he's being chased, and one tackle slips off of him, another slips off of him. He comes down over the 45, he's thrown to the turf up about the 48-yard line. Bill Castle and Consiglio, get him over there. Virgil Yalkin, a teammate of Cardi there, Ernie Gore, graduate of Nebraska University. This is great football. Here goes Engelhardt back to kick. He toes the ball, it comes to the near side, Daly chases it, it hits on the 36-yard line, straight up in the air, and it comes out of bounds about the 38-yard line, as Rudy Rotella comes over near the sideline, directly down beneath his hair. Omaha U in a 5-3 now. Here's a handoff, Lindemann takes it, gives in there, and carrying the ball is Chuck Bell, the left halfback, and Bell drives hard on the dive tackle slant over the 40, he comes up close to the 43-yard line, and we're going to give him on that one five yards, second down and five to go. Wing back now, it's uh, Muller, off over to the right. On a wing tee, here is Lindemann, a jump pass, it's complete downfield there, taken in tow by uh, Baron White, the right end, there's a flag on the play, about the 43-yard line, I think Eastern is going to be assessed offsides. Nice looking boy, looks like he's going to be hard to handle when he gets on up there sophomore, junior year. Here we go, quarterbacking is uh, Lindemann, Lindemann throws a pass to the near side, and it is batted away by Emil Raddick, just at the right moment, going for it is Sonny White around the uh, Omaha U, 38-yard line. Here's Chuck Bell, wide over to the right on the T formation. Ten yards to go, third down, and Lenneman throws this beyond the extended arm of Paul Green who makes a beautiful driving stab at it about the 45-yard line near midfield. Harper goes in to kick. Tannehill and Raddick back in twin safeties inside the 20. Here's the punt, and boy, there is a sky cutter. It comes down a high one taken down about the 32-yard line, and it is hopping around, being down there by Eastern Kentucky. New Year's greetings to you from all Elks of your respective states. Nine seconds remaining in the third quarter. OU still hangs on now to that one-point lead, 7-6, to six, that they got in the first quarter. Strong side to the left, unbalanced line. Here is Raddick in the tailback, dropping back. Coxie's arm throws a pass downfield. It is dropped down here on the 45-yard line. Bob Muller had that thing, sack and all, down about the 45-yard line, intended for John Semino. Pell-Mell down the far sideline. Strong defense against a single wing. Here's a pass downfield, intended for Semino, incomplete. Over his head to the 45-yard line in eastern Kentucky territory. We're now going into the uh, fourth period of the score, still 7-6. to six. Four years is in replacing Jerry Johns at right guard. Omaha U, set ready to go with Raddick in the tailback spot. There goes Wheeler in motion off to the left. Flag slide, the ball centered to Raddick. Raddick holds that ball in his hand, heads into the left side over the 35. Raddick cuts himself down about the 40-yard line. And let's see what this is going to be now. It might be against Omaha University. Wrong side to the right on the single wing. 6-2 defense. Goes to the short man, Wheeler. He gives it back there to Raddick. Raddick throws one over the head of the intended receiver. Getting downfield there and going very far down the field was Wayne Malnack, M-A-L-N-A-C-K, who came in there replacing John Semino at right end. Back to kick. Goes Raddick. Raddick's toe mates the ball. It's a dandy coming down. If it doesn't go out of bounds, too far downfield. And it is going to be whistled out. Down on, uh, there's a flag on about the 29-yard line, laying back downfield. Engelhardt to Rotella, and Engelhardt adding the extra point in the first quarter. And uh, Eastern Kentucky from Linderman to Green in the second period, the extra point was missed. Daly slashes in on a cutback over the right side and comes down over the 45 into about the 47-yard line. And he's hit down as uh, Muller that time led interference for him and gave him a nice block, Mr. Nasida. About uh, three yards to go now for Kentucky. Lindemann gets it, goes down the right side on the option, hands off, and Muller, the fullback, cuts over to the right, two steps, drives forward, comes up close to the first and ten line. Seven diamond defense has coming into the line and taking a handoff is Daly as the quarterback Hanlon, or rather Lindemann, moved down the left side, gave it to Daly. Daly shoots over the 50, up to about the 48 and a half, good for the first and ten. On a snake, Lindemann comes over the 47, up to about the 45-yard line. Second down and about six to go. Again, on that one, roughly call it four yards. And here is uh, shooting into the left side on a crisscross, Bob Muller. 
who came in from his fullback position, driving over hard to the left side, and he gains over the 45 up to about the 43. Right here at Orlando, Florida, the Tangerine Bowl Classic. Here's Lindemann going back. Cox's his arm. He's in trouble. He's going to have to throw to get rid of it. He doesn't. He's rolled out of bounds on the near side on the 47-yard line. Take it out on a nice rolling tackle by John Semino. Back to kick is Horace Harper standing on his own 40-yard line. He gets a pass in center. Fourth down and seven to go. He kicks it. End over in. It comes downfield. Hips down about the... 12-yard line, back over the 10, back down about the 5, and it is on the 5-yard stripe in Omaha U territory as OU elected to let it go. Tom Harper comes up over the ball. We've had uh, the first string backfield going back in. Stack goes in motion to the left. Wheeler whirls, and the ball is taken and handed off to Arnie Smith, and Smith drives through a gaping hole over the 10, comes up close to the 12-yard line. Arnie Smith that time. Now the Indians line up, strong side to the right. Unbalanced line to the right, waiting for the snap from center. Wheeler goes in motion over to the left. Engelhart gets a pass from center, goes directly into the line, jams forward up in there up to around to the 13 or 14 yard strike. Steck over to the right, strong side of the right, 6 2 defense. Engelhart shooting for the first and 10, comes in, runs headlong into the defense of Eastern Kentucky, and let's see whether he got it or not. Nine minutes and 47 seconds of playing time remaining. So we'll see what happens here. Here we come now with the play on the Steck coming around in reverse, taking it, moving around the left, comes up close to the 20, steps out of bounds about the 21-yard line, chased out by Ed Miracle, who came over, and there's uh, number 40, at uh, 46 it is, Arnie Smith, with a nice block. That huge uh, Hollywood spotlight up in the air, beaming around. Strong side to the left this time. Wheeler coming around, and uh, there's a roll on the play as Wheeler fakes the handoff to Steck. Comes around, full spin, goes into the line, flags fly about the 20, and Castle meets him head-on up about the 21 or 22-yard line, around the line of scrimmage. Backfield in motion, this one to go against Omaha University. Let's go, you all. Here we go now, back with Englehart. He throws a pass to the near side. It's complete to Wheeler on the 20. Wheeler to the 25. Wheeler down over the 30 to the 33-yard line. Lenderman makes the tackle. First down. They've come now from the five, out to the 32, six minutes and a half remaining in the ball game. Omaha U leading, strong side to the left, unbalanced line, Engelhart has it, moves into the left side, side steps one, comes over, lowers his neck over the 35 to the 37 yard line, and uh, eats up uh, yardage coming on down. About, uh, they put it back on the 35, so we give Bill two on that one. He fell forward to the 37, chased down on that one. Bob Muller and Dan Daly. Strong side now to the right, unbalanced line. Kentucky playing a 6-2-2-1. Ball goes back to Inglehart, taking time, throws a long left pass down the field, intended for Stack. It's over his head by about six yards, down about the 30-yard line. Linderman goes back all the way, but it outdistance him even. So it comes back now to the line of scrimmage, to the 35-yard line. Third down, in motion off over to the right is Wheeler. Inglehart pitches the pass in the flat to Wheeler. He has it on the 40, goes to the 45, past one tackler, past another. Still going, fights his way over the 50, and Wheeler eats up yards down to the 48-yard line. How about that? Wheeler went in motion from single wing back to the right. He's the short man, the fullback. He came out to the right, then headed down the field, and Engelhart just lobs that pass over the onrushing arms at the end, and the halfback is down in there, too tight to get a hold of him. And Wheeler has the ball, and by the time the halfback comes up, Wheeler then sidesteps him. Omaha U has thrown uh, 17, completed six in the passing department. They come from the five to the 48-yard line. Goes back to Englehart, single wing back to the left. He cuts around the left side. Englehart over the 45, over the 40. Englehart down the 35. Englehart to the 30. Now let's see where they mark it out down there at about the 31-yard line. Ed Merrico chases him out. Bill Englehart down about the 31-yard line. Well, I think the fans down here wanted to see just what Englehart could do. Well, he was given a lot of help out there by Bob Wheeler. Bob Wheeler gives him a world of help. Timeout taken on the field. Timeout at the ball on the 31-yard line in Eastern Kentucky Territory. The 18 yards. Englehart takes it. Single wing back to the right. Knives over the right side. Gets a good block. Pass the 35 to 30. Gets inside the 30. On about the 28-yard line. Well, I'm sure Miss America, Leanne Merriweather over there, is enjoying this ball game. Bill Steck wide over to the left. Unbalanced line to the left. Goes back to tailback Englehart. He lobs a pass. Oh. And to Rotella. Incomplete as Rudy reached up with that left arm. Tried to grab it on the 25. It went incomplete. Ed Merrickle came in there lightning fast that time. Rotella, the left in, out wide to the left, single wing back to the right. Here's uh, a pass complete to the near side to Steck. Steck on the 20, Steck to the 15, to the drop the 10 yard line as he goes inside the 10 to about the 6 yard line. Dick Cotton, man alive, what a block, Merrill. He hit that kid number 92, uh, Gerald Boyd out there, and uh, 
just about the time that Steck was trying to get away from him, and I think the collision of the blocker on the tackler is what brought the ball carrier down, with Ed Miracle helping in there. It was the, uh, it was the sound waves from that terrific block, Jack, that stopped the ball carrier, I think. With Tannehill, off over to the left, Engelhart fakes a pass, heads down the middle, hits the five-yard line, Engelhart gets up to around the four-yard line, as they're on a slant away from us, we look out and see, and he gets inside the five, Here's Engelhardt sweeping wide around the right, seeking to get in. He hits the five-yard line, goes down about the two, and he's jolted down terrifically by Frank Nasita and uh, Paul Thomas with Tom Sammons. Third down and two to go for a touchdown. Let's see what happens. It goes to Engelhardt. He hits down through the middle, shooting for the touchdown. Did he get it? Fourth down, one yard to go. Now listen to the crowd. I won't have to tell you. Listen to the crowd. Single wing back to the right. Unbalanced line. It goes to Engelhardt. He passes. It is... Knocked down. Now here goes Kentucky. Let's see what they can do. The Maroons. They're behind by one point. Hanlon comes down, gives the ball off, and carrying it is Daly. Daly knifes his way up close to the five-yard line. He pulls her out for a pickup on that one. Let's see. They're going to make it a five or the six. We're winning seven to six. Four minutes to go. Omaha U leads. Second down and six on the five. Hanlon goes down the right side, hands off on a dive tackle. Play Paul Green. The right half back comes up almost to the ten-yard line. Ed Baker. He's shaken up on that play. So out on the 10. Third down and a yard to go. Here's the play as Lindemann hands off and down through the middle comes Daly. Daly shoots over the 10. He comes up to close to the 12 or 13. He has it by about two and a half yards to spare. Place her down on the 12 for clarity. Eastern Kentucky's ball. First down and 10 to go on the 12. Daly out to the right as a flanker. Back goes Lindemann. The pass. He's being rushed. He throws a long one down the field and it is intended for Schulte incomplete on the 48 yard line where they were running along. Incomplete. Short punt formation with Lindemann in the tailback spot. Daly wide out to the right. He goes back to Lindemann. This is a passing formation. He throws one to far side to Green, completes the Green around the 15, the 20. Green hits down inside the 25 and out of bounds. It's set from the short punt. Here we go. There's a handoff down the middle. Lindemann, the short man, takes it, gives to Muller the fullback, and Muller drives through up through the 25, up to about the 26 or 7, shooting for the first and 10, and he has it. Now here's Paul Green. Off over now. On a short punt to the left, Lindemann throws down the middle. It's complete up to Schulte on the 37, and Schulte is down to the 40-yard line. And rolled under on a tackle out there by number 66, Simon Simon. 38, 39 yards, short punt formation. Back to Lindemann, and Bobby cocks his arm, throws over to the right. It's complete over there to Daly. Daly on the 45 is immediately taken out of bounds. Up to around the 44-yard line, they may place it down. So that one could go for a gain of, say, five yards. It does. Short punt formation. Back goes Lindemann, the tailback. Lindemann throws one down the middle. It's dropped out on about the 45-yard line. Sonny White had that ball in his right hand. He couldn't hang on to it. Third down and five to go. Minute 34 seconds to be played. Omaha used, leads by one point. Back in short punt is Lindemann. Lindemann being rushed. Goes one down the middle. Intended for Schulte. is batted away by Billy Steck. Batted away by Billy Steck. Incomplete. And it'll come up now for Kentucky. Fourth down and five to go. Fourth down and five. You be the quarterback there. See what you would call. Here's Green coming to the near side as a flanker. It's a short punt formation, and here is a pitch pass to the near side on the low pass, and Daly had that thing on the 45 and dropped it. A little short pitch pass out to the left flat. Daly had that ball, and I know that kid's heart is breaking right now. He had it in his hands. He turned around to run. He couldn't quite hang on to it. On his own 45, he would have had it for first and ten. Now then, Omaha U takes over on the Eastern Kentucky 44-yard line. See the films of this game on WWTV, Monday night at 10.30. And on a single wing back to the right, there's an offside flag as Raddick sweeps over the 45, down to the 40, to the 35, and out of bounds about the 31-yard line. It'll all be in vain because uh, someone in Omaha U shot offsides. Flag drop back on the 45. Bobby Lindemann rolled and chased out him, Raddick, down about the 31. But this one is a penalty against the Indians. A minute, 14 seconds left in the ballgame. Omaha U7, Eastern Kentucky 6. Single wing back to the right. Unbalanced line. Wheeler in motion from the short man spot. Comes over to the near side. He turns. Raddick gets the ball. Heads around. Nice blocking. Chop blocks over the 50. Over the 45. Raddick still going. Twisting down to the 41. He's rolled under by Paul Green on the 41-yard line. Nice carry that time from the 49 up to the 41-yard line. About uh, Dick Tannehill's nice block out there. After that eight-yard run, single wing back, strong side to the left. It goes back to the tailback, Raddick. Raddick sweeps right out to the left, looking for that opening. Cuts down over the 40. He's still inside the 40. Goes down to around the 36 or 7-yard line, and he is ganged out there. By one, two, three, four men. There's a flag down. This one might go against Kentucky. It looks like we might have had a little uh, extra activity by uh, Sonny White. 
37 seconds remaining in the ball game. OU leads 7-6. to six. They'll have a holiday down here tomorrow, then uh, take a train and go up to Washington for a brief vacation before the school starts again around Wednesday. Offsides against Omaha U as Raddick takes it, drives into the right side, and is knocked back to around the 25-yard line. And uh, Omaha U now seeking to run out the clock without letting Kentucky get a hold of the ball. Well, the Indians, as Wheeler comes in motion, off over to the right, strong side of the right, single wing. Here is Raddick. Raddick being chased, and he is going to be thrown all the way back to the 35 by number 90, Don Hortman, the big left end. Big cheer on the far side as Omaha U will have won its 14th straight ball game. Two seconds, one second. OU wins 7 to 6. Here it is. It's going to be the outstanding player. And the player to be awarded. Bill Englehart has been named as the outstanding player in the ninth annual Tangerine Bowl Classic. Bill Englehart named as the outstanding player. Now then, immediately following the game, these boys uh, will have the pressure off of them now, win or lose. Omaha U wins 7-6 to six over Eastern Kentucky. They'll be presented, each of them, with wristwatches by the Tangerine Bowl Commission. Well, all in all, they, they wanted a good football game down here, and I don't see how they could have picked two finer teams in the state of uh, Kentucky and the state of Nebraska, Merrill. Really, it was a good show.